Today's topic is the selected index or selected item of ASP.NET dropdown list is not changing. Let's consider what's the main reason of this issue. Here, if you can see, this is my sample solution demo, and I got one page test one dot ASPX. In that, I have one dropdown list with entries and one submit button. If you go to the code part. On page load, I am binding the drop-down list and when we click the button, we will fetch the value of the drop-down list. So, let's run this application and select the third entry, Tony, from the drop-down list and click the submit button. If you can see, the breakpoint is hit on the click event. We press F10, you can see the name is still Rahul, the first entry. We have selected the third entry, but we are getting the first entry. So here we consider how to resolve this issue. In order to resolve this issue, what we need to do is, we need to find the execution pattern. In ASP.NET lifecycle, when we do a post back, it would first come to the page load event, and then it come to the post back event. Here when we click the button, it would come first to the page load event, and then it comes to the button click event. Let's run this application once again. Yes, it's running now. Let's select one value. Let it be Tony. Click the submit button. If you can see, it comes first to the page load event. In page load event, if you can see, this would bind the drop down list once again. So, the data in the drop down list will be refreshed, and the selected item will be the first item. It has refreshed right now and then it come to the button click event. If we try to get the selected item from the drop down list, it would be the first item. This is mainly because it has already refreshed. Here the selected item is Rahul, the first entry. So in order to avoid this situation, we have to make sure that on post back, the drop down list will not get refreshed during page load. So there is a property named is post back in ASP.NET which help us to execute the code only during post back. Here I have written the loading of the drop down list in say not equal to post back. That means if it is not a post back it would load. Let's run this application once again. If you can see I am going to select the third item Tony and clicking the submit button. It came to the page load even first. Let's press the F10. Since this is a post back, it has skipped the loading of drop down list and then it comes to the button click event. If we press F1 once again, you can see the selected name is Tony, that means the third item. By this way, by introducing the is post back property, we can resolve this issue. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.